When I was in boarding school, I had a crush on this girl named Emma. You know, I was nine and so was she. But we stayed in touch over the years. And when we were like adults, like in college, we decided to go backpacking together. She lived in England and I came to Europe and we went backpacking together and we were, you know, having a romantic, you know, sexual relationship throughout Europe. And at one point we decided to go to Italy and we want to train and we were alone in this like train compartment at night and we had like sleeping bags and we decided to have sex on the train in our sleeping bag and we're having sex and you know it's going well and then all of a sudden somebody like opens the door of the train compartment and she's like stop it stop it someone's here and i'm like okay okay and we just kind of freeze and it was a man and he was just standing there watching us not moving for like a long time and it's this very awkward silence and then after i don't know it seemed like three minutes he turns and leaves and we're like oh, okay and we like put our clothes on and we sort of you know sit up <laughs> and then the guy comes back but with another guy and there are these two Italian guys, and one sits on the other side of Emma, and one sits across from us, and they start saying, like, they saw that we were having sex, and the guy starts putting his hands on Emma's leg, and she's pushing it away, and he's trying to put his hand, like, up her thigh, and she's, like, pushing it away, and I'm trying to, like, push him away, and then they're, like, pushing me away, and one of the guys is kind of, like, threatening me, and the other guy is trying to, like, basically have sex with her. And, you know, at a certain point, she just like pushes him away hard, grabs her backpack and rushes out of the compartment. So now it's just me and these two guys. And I grab my backpack and I rush out too. And she goes into another compartment where there's like this one guy, like a businessman. And she figures, you know, we'll be safe there. So, you know, I follow her in there and we sit there and we're kind of like, you know, very shaken. And the two guys follow us into the compartment. And they sit down on each side of the businessman. And they tell him in Italian that we were having sex. And he kind of like chuckles awkwardly and uh, fearfully, like he's obviously afraid of them. And they basically tell him they want him to leave the compartment and find another compartment. And he smiles at them and says, no problem. And he leaves. And I'm thinking, what? <laughs> Why are you leaving? Like... We thought he would protect us, but he didn't. <laughs> and then they start trying to, like, have sex with her again. And, you know, they're, like, putting their hands all over her, and she's pushing them away, and I'm trying to push them away, and they're getting a little more violent. And then again, she, like, kicks the guy off of her, grabs her backpack, rushes out of there again. I do the same. They kind of push me around a little bit, but they want to follow her, so they kind of don't really do too much harm to me yet. And she finds a compartment where there's two seats only. And there's like, you know, four of the people in there. They're like, these are like six person compartments. And she sits down and I follow her and we're both in there and we're completely full. There's no room for them. And they kind of like walk in and they say to this little old lady who's there to leave the compartment and give them her seat in a kind of like threatening way. And she starts yelling at them like, who the hell do you think you are? Get the fuck out of here. I'll call the conductor, you fucking hoods. And, you know, they're kind of like intimidated by her and they leave the compartment, but they keep kind of like walking back and forth in front of the door, kind of like pacing, you know, back and forth. And they're sort of like gesturing to us through the window that they're basically going to follow us wherever we go and that they're going to get us. And they're basically saying with sign language that they're going to rape her and there's nothing we can do about it. And... I see the conductor and I try to explain to him what's happening and he completely like ignores me and he seems like he's afraid of them too and he just like walks away. And we don't know what to do and we're like, should we just get off the train? But you know, they're going to follow us. They're, they're, they're showing us that they're going to follow us. And finally, we decide let's just run for it when the train stops. And the train stops and we just grab our stuff and run as fast as we can. And we're running through the train station and we run to another train and we jump on this other train 
And then we jump off that train and go to another train. We're just like trying to elude them. And we finally get on a train that's about to leave and does leave. And it's going back to France. And I think we evaded them. And uh, that was the last time I ever had sex in a train. <laughs>